Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to calculate NPV or net present value in Google Sheets. Essentially what net present value is, is just taking your future cash outflows and inflows and comparing them and, and putting them in today's dollar. So a lot of times it's used for investment opportunities or, or capital budget projects and just making sure, you know, based on your initial initial investment and future cash flows, if it makes sense to pursue a project. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, walk through how we would do that today. First thing we're going to do, we have our periods here. So we're looking at, let's say, a 12 year time frame. And then we have our initial cash flow. The initial investment is $100,000 and we're expecting about a $10,000 cash flow every year. So, and then we have our discount rate and essentially what our discount rate is, the required return that we would expect for an investment. So we would uh, expect this investment would provide an 8% return. And so that's kind of what our discount rate is. Each company or individual is going to have a different rate there. So that's something that you need to to provide and, and, and have in order to ensure that you have a successful calculation here. But we'll go ahead and just dive in. All we have to do is hit equals NPV. So we'll hit tab there and it's going to ask the first thing we do is we put our rate, which is that 8%. And then we're going to hit a comma and then we're going to select our future cash flows. We're not going to do our period zero or our current investment, that first year investment. We just for now want to do our cash flows. So we'll select that range there, hit close parentheses. But this is where we want to include that initial investment. So we need to ensure that we're, we're adding that into the equation. Otherwise, we're going to just show it a great return with, with a huge NPV. So we'll add that because our initial investment is already negative here. We're just going to enter and you can see it's already generating what the NPV is. So we'll hit enter. So we can see our NPV is a negative number here. Um, so typically that indicates that we're not going to, it's not a great investment opportunity for us. It's not going to yield us what we want. And so something that we should probably pass on. Let's say that our numbers were a little different though. What you can do is kind of figure out, you know, if, if, if our cash flows were 15,000, how would that adjusting? So we're just going to go ahead and copy that, copy and paste that down. And now we can see if, as we update that, it gives us a positive NPV. So we can see, okay, we need a better cash flow in order for this NPV to be positive and for us to pursue this investment opportunity. Something else you can look at, let's say, you know, maybe 8% isn't a good discount rate that you're looking for and you want something more in line with 10%, you can adjust that and see, okay, so positive, we're going to get that 10% discount rate. And then let's try a 12%. And then we know, you know, that's kind of where that 12% isn't, isn't going to cut it. This project's not going to cut it. So we know it's not going to make sense. So essentially, I hope this is helpful. I hope this calculation, again, is very simple and very helpful in understanding the net present value. And so let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to the Excel Guy. Thanks and have a great day.